The critically acclaimed show with higher ratings than your mother's sex tape is back and better than ever, baby. Welcome to You Aren't the Main Character 2. Let's hop in, shall we? So it looks like first up here we got some colorized footage from the Civil War. Or maybe it was just recorded on an Android because this is like 140p sliced in half. But regardless, let's go ahead and watch. Thank you for giving me this drink. You are... God. Oh, 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 you <laughs> it cut off. I, I don't know where the original video came from, but it cut off those heart emojis up there, the broken hearts. Oh, he was so broken hearted he didn't get a sing for the Starbucks barista to post on his TikTok. That's the first time I've ever seen somebody try to do a trend in the driveway and just get absolutely shut down. Just straight up denied. She just shut the door in his face. <laughs> she wasn't mad. She was clearly disappointed, though. Started a new gym today only to find out people don't have gym etiquette. I really don't know what this workout. I've never seen somebody do this workout. Is Here, it like a stretch? I was recording my leg oh, stretch session for the past 15 minutes, and this lady chose to squeeze between a narrow space and walk across my video, despite having a bigger space to walk through on the other side. <laughs> Mind you, the space between me and my phone is not that wide, and it was obviously set up on a bright pink hydro flask. Oh, how could you not see the bright pink hydro flask? Come on. Come on. I, why do you need to record your stretches anyways for this TikTok? Guy I don't who get walked it. Around, but then chose to walk in front even though he already saw me recording. <laughs> She should be practicing some like some back exercises like opening the fridge or maybe like flipping the pan. <laughs> I'm not misogynistic, that's a joke. I love watching videos of people like this, the people who think they own the public gym and the other people in the building don't pay the membership price the same as they do or something. It's just like the whole world has to revolve around them. If I had to go out on a limb here, I would say these people are not intentionally sabotaging your TikTok. They're not preying on your downfall, you know. They're not hoping you never get TikTok famous or anything. They, pro they probably just don't know you're recording, if I had to guess. I don't think people pay attention to if someone's recording recording their workouts so they're like oh is she recording her stretches should i walk by or should i go around the backside ma'am are you recording <laughs> but that right there is definitely a certified i'm the main character moment i can't really make out what that contact name is i'm just gonna presume she's messaging one of her other old girlfriends because that hand right there looks like it's been around since the ancient times that right there is in that's a withered hand so i'm gonna go with the name What's an old lady name? Janice. We'll go with Janice. She's messaging Janice, and Janice says, Thanks, the bottle Lisa gave us was expensive. I'm returning her a new one. And she responds with, We have COVID. Shh. That's why we're returning home a day early on the plane now. That goblin hand definitely fits the personality now. They don't care about anybody's well-being except for what they want to do. They don't care if they infect anybody else that may have like some health conditions or whatever. They just solely care about coming back home. <laughs> that is definitely a certified I'm the main character moment. That's like a the stamp of approval. If I could stamp it more than once, this right here is one of the most I'm the main character moments I've ever seen before. Thank you, San Diego. Thank you for absolutely fucking nothing. I drove all the way down here just to get She's some fresh hell. fucking air, escape life you for a that? minute, enjoy this what should have been beautiful hike. But unfortunately, it was ruined by all the fucking muzzled retards Oof. outside at the <laughs> top of a the fucking R cliff, not wanting to breathe any fresh air. Like, literally 50% of the people on this hike were masked. So she's mad about people wearing a mask on a hawk because I guess she thinks if you go up a mountain, the air there doesn't have coronavirus in it, or you can't spread coronavirus when you're in higher elevations. <laughs> I don't know what her logic is, but if you look at her hat right there, it says, I smell commies. So she's definitely a pleasant person to be around, I'm sure. An anti-masker who wears hats like I smell commies is definitely someone I want to hang out with for New Year's. I've just lost all faith in humanity. I'm sorry. San Diego is what I, I thought San Diego was supposed to be the best. Biggest boner Clearly, kill of Clearly, it's all no time? fucking different than LA. You got I'm so a boner? fucking done. I'm so done. This place is Fucking she's got a, hopeless. She's got a wiener? She's got a wiener? You got a wiener? <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, though, this is about a 7 on I'm the main character. It's more of an anti-mask freakout, but it's still, you know, 
she's thinking everybody should just listen to her ideology and live by the way she lives. I need to give a special warning before this one because this right here is just main character Otis. You might catch it through the screen or something. The ego, the confidence, and everything is just out of the roof. So be warned. So imagine that this... That all of this, this 5'10 hottie who is intelligent and kind and self-aware and witty and funny, this absolute smoke show of a goddess is- Just wanted to say she brought up she was self-aware, but clearly she's not too self-aware because she doesn't realize she's looking like an actual babbling baboon right now. She looks like a bit of a clown, a bit of an idiot, a bit of a loser. Into you. And not just into you, by the way, she is nuts about you. She is also crazy about you, mind, body, and spirit. And she hypes you up and she cheers you on. And she reminds you of how amazing you are. Oh, and she's insa insatiable as well. Like she just wants to fuck your brains out. Oh, and, and when she's feeling emotion safe, oh my God, the titty pics, the titty pics. This, without this on, what people would be spending $14.95 a month for, you would be getting for free. That's very bold of her to assume I would pay $14.95 a month to see her in the nude. Especially if that attitude comes included. Woo-wee. <laughs> I think the first thing she should do is add some more words onto that characteristic list of hers. Right after goddess, she should put delusional and very self-centered. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine having all of this be into all of that. And then fumbling the past because she asked for more consistency in texting. I know, it fucking blows my mind too. How dare you not be interested in me? How dare you? That guy definitely dodged a bullet though there, especially seeing that. If he's seen that TikTok, he is whopping the sweat off his forehead. Any doubt in his mind that he might have made the bad a bad decision by dropping her, he is completely justified in that now. Do I need to say anything before this one? <laughs> Miss, we're about to take off. Me, I'm coming. Take your seat now. Yes, sorry. Is it bad if I say I hope she was on the flight with that Karen that said she had COVID? <laughs> I just really want to know a solid explanation behind why people feel the need to do dances for TikTok in public. Like, please, dear God, give me an answer. Like, why do people do this? Why would you set your phone up in public and proceed to do stupid dances for TikTok while people are watching? I couldn't even do dances like that in the safety of my own room. I couldn't even lock myself in the closet and do dances like she's doing for TikTok. And she's doing it in the middle of like a plane or a bus or whatever that is. Most main character moments do have a bit of cringe in them. You know, that's just inevitable. But this one right here has way more cringe than main characteriness. Like she definitely thinks she's in her own anime right now. East Village, 6 a.m. They're screaming on the balcony. Oh, who's that down there? <laughs> what is she doing? She's doing like a weird ritual kind of dance. She looks like a grasshopper bouncing back and forth. <laughs> You're gonna shut up! I'd always heard the stereotypes in uh, that Robin Williams stand-up bit from a while ago about like if you yell hello in New York, someone will yell back, shut up! <laughs> and just seeing that in real life just brings a huge smile to my face. They for sure thought they were the main characters, but New York shut them down real quick. And <laughs> that's a thumbs up for New York. Now I saved this one for last because it doesn't really fit into the whole main character kind of trope, but this video is just so funny to me that I had to put it in here. I know we be scaring Jesus sometimes. Break every chain, baby. 
If you don't know the song, that's this song is playing in the background. It just says break every chain over and over and over and over. And that's what he's doing, he's breaking the chains. Got him chained up like he's about to get sent to the gulag or something. <laughs> Got enough chains there to contain the Hulk. This is just very funny to me because it's something I could imagine seeing in real life because I live in a very religious area uh, in my local area. It's very religious with Christianity and I could see somebody actually going up in a church around here and doing something like this. And if they did, I would love every second of it. <laughs> that would be hilarious. And that'll wrap it up for the sequel of You Aren't the Main Character number one. And then I guess the next video in this series would have to be You Aren't the Main Character number three so stick around until then the reviews are up the ratings are high and uh <laughs> i'll catch you next time peace out